Today's news featuring truckers' threat to Ron DeSantis, Tesla recalls, Mother's Day letter, guns surrendered in Serbia, border crossings dropped by 50%, Kate Middleton's surprise and much more interesting news. Welcome to this news edition of News Titbits. Governor Ron DeSantis signed SB 1718, a law that targets undocumented immigrants in Florida, on Wednesday. It will take effect on July 1st. The law requires employers to use E-Verify and hospitals to collect information on undocumented patients. Some Latin American truck drivers are planning to boycott a touching letter from a young American soldier to his mom on Mother's Day in 1919 was found on eBay and returned to his granddaughter. The letter expressed the soldier's longing to see his mom, his gratitude for her advice and guidance, and his hope to return home soon from the war in France. The soldier, Carl Howe, died of tuberculosis in 1928 at the age of 36, leaving behind a wife and a daughter who was only six years old. The letter was bought by a researcher from MyHeritage.com, who traced Howe's family and delivered the letter to his granddaughter in Oregon just before Mother's Day this year. The grand final of the 2023 Eurovision featured a surprise appearance by Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, who played the piano during the opening number. The opening number was performed by Ukraine's Kalush Orchestra, the winners of the 2022 Eurovision with their song Stefania. The UK hosted the 2023 Eurovision on behalf of Ukraine, which was affected by war. The UK's Sam Ryder was the runner-up in 2022 with his song Rocket Man. Other famous musicians who joined the opening number included Andrew Lloyd Webber, Ms. Banks, and Joss Stone. The Eurovision final was co-hosted by Ted Lasso's Hannah Waddingham and streamed on Peacock in the US. Tesla is recalling virtually every car it's sold in China due to a braking and acceleration defect that may increase crash and safety risks. The automaker will deploy an over-the-air software fix to more than 1.1 million vehicles produced in Shanghai from January 2019 to April this year, plus some models imported into China. The defect relates to Tesla's regenerative braking system, which makes use of energy created when drivers take their foot off the accelerator by sending power to the car's battery. The software fix will enable drivers to set the intensity of their regenerative braking and adjust the factory default state of the system. The company's cars also will start notifying drivers when they've pressed the accelerator for an extended period. A 16-year-old boy was arrested for making numerous bomb threats to schools in South Florida and the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. The teen faces charges of written threats to kill, false report of a bomb or firearm and disruption of a school function. The Broward County Sheriff's Office and other police departments collaborated to arrest the boy. All locations were searched and investigators determined there was no actual threat. The U.S. Border Patrol saw a 50% decrease in the number of encounters along the southern border since Title 42, which allowed expedited expulsion of migrants, expired on Thursday. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said it's too early to tell if the migrant surge has peaked but the administration has been planning and executing its transition for months. The Biden administration faced legal challenges from Republicans who wanted to keep Title 42 in place, arguing that lifting it would increase migration and pose security risks. Senator Chris Murphy, a Democrat, said Title 42 was required to be lifted by law since the pandemic is over and accused Republicans of wanting to keep out people who don't look like them. The House passed a GOP-backed bill to address immigration at the border, which would resume border wall construction and hire more Border Patrol agents, but it is unlikely to become law due to Democratic opposition and a White House veto threat.
the Serbian government declared a one-month amnesty period for citizens to surrender unregistered weapons as part of a crackdown on guns following the two shootings in two days this month that left 17 people dead, many of them children. Populist President Aleksandr Vucic accompanied top police officials to view the assortment of arms arrayed near the town of Smederevo, some 50 kilometers, 30 miles, south of the capital. Serbia has tens of thousands of weapons brought in from the battlefields of the 1990s wars in the Balkans. Similar weapons amnesties were held in the past with only limited success. Dwayne Johnson opened up about his battle with depression throughout the years. He first became depressed in University of Miami after a shoulder injury ended his football career. He didn't know what mental health or depression was at that time. He went through depression again in 2007 after his divorce from his ex-wife. He also struggled in 2017 and had some friends to lean on. He lost two friends to suicide and encouraged people to talk to someone if they are feeling mentally unwell. He said talking to someone is a superpower. He credited his daughters Tiana, Jasmine, and Simone as his saving grace and said he worked hard to gain the emotional tools to cope with mental pain. A rare planet called TOI 733b has been discovered 245 light years away. It is almost twice the size of Earth and orbits a sun slightly smaller than our sun. The planet could have a water-covered surface or a lost atmosphere. Its density and proximity to its stars suggest two possible scenarios, a Neptune-like planet that lost its hydrogen and helium, or a planet that formed and remained relatively the same. The planet could help us understand how exoplanets form and evolve. It is one of the few planets that sit between one and a half and two times the radius of the Earth, which is a surprisingly small number among the more than 5,300 exoplanets discovered. A landmark conservation project relocated four female platypuses into the Royal National Park near Sydney, where they had disappeared more than 50 years ago. The platypus, a unique and reclusive egg-laying mammal, is increasingly endangered by habitat loss, river degradation, predators, and extreme weather events. The relocated platypuses will be monitored for two years to learn how to intervene and relocate the species in case of environmental disasters. Thank you for watching. Please support our efforts by liking and sharing the videos. Don't forget to subscribe to get our regular updates.